Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley Fisher and thank you for clicking on this video. So we're going to be doing a sunset halo eye with some shades of blue today. And the first thing I'm doing is going in with a Morphe fluffy brush and I'm going in with the Morphe 39A palette and a nice transition shade from there and buffing that in my crease just so that we can have a nice transition shade. And then on top of that, I'm going in with, I believe this is the shade of Butter, and I am just going over the exact same spot where I had my first transition shade and buffing that in so it is nice and seamless so that we have some nice transition shades to have um, on our lid before we go into the other colors. And of course, we want to do the same thing to the other side, and we want this eyeshadow to be so blended out that the men of the world who think that we come out of the womb with gold glitter on our eyelids might actually think that they are right. And now I am dipping back into the Morphe 39A palette, into this beautiful coral orange shade. And I am putting this in the crease as well as the inner and outer corner of my eye to really start getting that halo shape that we want for this look. I have to say that these shadows are so pigmented. Shout out to Morphe for revamping like their entire collection of like literally everything that they have because their brand I honestly think is so much better now. Not that they were bad to begin with, but oh my lord, these shadows are so pigmented and beautiful. And I highly suggest to all of you to get your hands on this 39A palette. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking the fluffy brush that I've been using to blend the shadow out and I am packing that color as much onto the outer lid and then slowly blending it into the crease just to make sure that I have the amount of pigmentation and coloring in it that I want. And now I'm taking this really pretty deep purple shade and I am patting this on the inner and outer corners as well as the crease. Basically what I did with the shades before this because I really want to start um, adding in colors to get this really pretty sunset vibe thing going on. So I am going to be taking a tart double-ended brush and I'm using the fluffy side to pack the shadow on there and then slowly blend it out. And now I am doing obviously the same thing to the other eye. Please do not ever experiment and just do eyeshadow on one eye. The world will think you have officially gone crazy. And now I am basically taking a smaller, denser Morphe brush and I am just kind of uh, blending out the eyeshadow and adding slightly more just so that way I can have the color intensity that I want. And then I'm going in with another tart double-ended brush and I'm using the sort of dense fluffy side. I don't even know if those two words can go together. But I'm using that to blend out the shadow. And then on the other eye, I'm going back in with that denser, smaller brush and packing on the color and then blending it out back and forth. And now I am taking a even darker purple shadow from this palette and I'm taking that smaller denser Morphe brush that I used to blend out stuff earlier and I am just putting this um, shade in the areas of the eye that are going to make it a little bit more, um, make the eye have some more depth and definitely add some more of that sunset vibe to it. And now, of course, I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. And the key here, you guys, as it is usually with other eye looks, is to blend until your arm is about to fall off. And I know that it can be really annoying, but in the end, your look is going to look way better for doing it. And yeah, there's a reason why people say blending is my cardio, because it is true. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking that double-ended um, tart brush again, and I'm taking that so-called fluffy dense side and I'm blending out my crease shades just so that way everything looks nice and seamless. Now what I'm doing for the halo part of this look is I'm taking some Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer and I am cutting my crease and this is going to be where we are putting the shades of blue that um, are going to be focused on the lid. 
So I am patting that on with the other side of the Tarte double-ended brush and making sure that that's nice and clean before we start adding any color. And as usual, especially for this look, um, do the concealer on the other side as well. I use a liner part of a different Tarte brush to do this part just because it's easier to cut the lid with a really small brush. And then I'm using the other Tarte double-ended brush to pat all the concealer all over the lid. And now what I'm doing is setting that concealer with some more Mercier translucent powder and a, um, I'm using a dense flat brush for this. I would actually suggest to go, blah, 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 to just go straight in with the blue shade that I'm using in this palette because I feel like um, you get much more pigmentation and color payoff rather than trying to constantly put powder on top of powder on top of powder. Um, so yeah, but that's what I did and now I am using a small Real Techniques detail brush to apply the blue shade on the inner and outer um, part of the halo eye. And here what I'm doing is I'm just taking that Real Techniques brush and I am blending as much as humanly possible, especially with these darker colors, it is especially important. And then I'm also trying to add a little bit um, through to the top of the crease just to make sure that that line separating the cut crease and the rest of the shadow is very, very uh, prominent so that you can tell that there's supposed to be a de um, defined line. And then of course I did the same thing to the other eye and then I am just taking that Tarte double-ended brush and I am blending out my crease. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other Tarte double-ended brush and I'm going to use the flat part to take that really pretty blue shimmery shade and focus that all on the center of the lid where we had no color before. As you can tell, this color is very, very pretty and I'm packing it all over my lid only because since I had all that powder underneath it, I felt like I wasn't getting as much of a color payoff as I would have if I had just directly applied the shadow on top of the concealer. So I definitely packed on this shadow, but it is absolutely beautiful and blue is one of my favorite colors, so I am in love with this shade. And now just to make sure that I don't lose the color intensity of the dark blue that we put on the inner and outer parts of the lid, I'm going back with that small Real Techniques detail brush and I'm just blending in those two colors. Now I'm using the Tarte Glitter Eye Jewels in the shade Silver and I'm using the glitter part of it and I am going over the um, top part of the lid where I cut the crease and I'm making sure that I put a nice significant line there because I cannot do any single look without glitter. Y'all know me by now. And if you don't, welcome to my channel. And of course for lashes, I'm going to apply the Tarte Lashes in the style Flirt. So I'm just going to um, pop those on really quick. And then I'm using the Lashes, um, Lashes, the Mascara um, Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I wanted this to be more of a tutorial focus on eyes and my facial routine is pretty much the same as all my other videos. So if you really want to see a video on that, then you can always check out some of my other ones that I posted. But yeah, so I'm just popping on that mascara on my lower lashes right now. And here is some beautiful footage of the gorgeous faces that I make while applying mascara. But you know what? We all do it, so don't judge. So here I'm applying my inner corner highlight with a really small e.l.f. detailed brush. And I am popping on, I think this is the shade Fire from the um, Tarte Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Pro Glow Palette. And I am putting that on my inner corner as well as my brow bone. I apologize that the lighting in my room is so freaking bright that you can't really see what I'm using until I go to put it away. Um, and as you can tell, I'm very excited about using this. But this is the Kylie Jenner Holiday Wet Set um, highlighting palette that I am obsessed with. And I'm taking the upper right uh, shade and the lower left shade. And um, I couldn't tell you the shades right now, but I can link them down below for you guys. Well, I'll link the palette down below. 
and I'm mixing those two together and I'm taking a Morphe um, packing brush and <laughs> I am applying this to my cheekbones and the other high points of my face so of course on my nose um, uh, my brow bone and um, my cupid's bow I never ever ever apply any highlight to my chin because my face is naturally oily so I feel like it just draws a lot more attention to the oil that's already created there like I can have my own highlight just from the oil that's on my chin so I definitely don't need to accentuate it but yeah so I really really love this highlight and I think that it is definitely worth your money because the formula is just so nice and creamy and I'm obsessed with it Surprise, another Kylie Jenner lipstick product. If you know me, you know that 90% nice lip liner. Uh, you know that 90% of the lipsticks that I use on my channel are either Kylie Jenner or they are Anastasia Beverly Hills, mostly just because 90% of the lipsticks I have are Kylie Jenner. Um, but yeah, so I'm using the Dolce K, I believe, um, that's how it's pronounced, um, the Dolce K lip liner, and I'm just lining my lips with this, which is really nice because her liners are definitely really nice and really creamy. And then I'm going in with a, be <laughs> I believe this is a Revlon lipstick. The lighting um, made my camera not able to pick up the color or the shade name, but it is a nice nude lipstick. And this is really pretty, especially I think with the liner, because um, since this eye look is so very dramatic, it's definitely nice to have a nude lip, so that way all your attention goes to the eyes. And here we are, another Kylie Jenner lip product. What a surprise! <laughs> so I'm using the So Cute lip gloss on top of the lipstick that I just put down because I think that this definitely pulls the look together. Sometimes you just need a gloss. Um, but yeah, so this is what I use for the lips and I'm honestly really happy with how that whole look came together since the eyes are so dramatic, nice pout, um, that I think that the nude lip goes really well. Um, but yeah, so this is the finished look. I did set my face with some Urban Decay setting spray after I finished filming and I was like, crap, I did not set my face in the video. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is absolutely beautiful for a special occasion, if we're going to prom, you know, whatever. I just really, really liked the way that this came out. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys loved it. So please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.